Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. Remember, Smex from the Mix Creation. In today's video, I just want to take a short video, but I want to respond to two questions that are frequently being asked in the comment section. And one of the questions is that how long does it take to get a resident permit or how long does it take to take to get a Qatar ID when you come to Qatar? Especially if it is your first time to come to this country. Probably something that I need to first let you know yes you've given the opportunity you've come into the country yes when you come into the country the first thing that you are going to do is what you call the medical remember when we are talking about the medic the medical fitness test it is just going to verify the medical tests are only going to verify whether you are fit to work in qatar and those tests they will probably take a check on a different number of diseases, including TB, uh, including your blood samples, uh, X-rays. When we talk about X-rays, they will look at TB scars and the rest of the things. Uh, so probably, after passing what you call the medical test, then you will be invited for the fingerprints. But something I need to let you know, that after you've been invited for the fingerprints, definitely after the fingerprints, you, they will definitely issue an ID that will be in the way. But something that I need to, to let you know, or something that I need to, you to put in mind, it depends on the company. It depends on the company. Some companies take so long. Some companies, they'll process it very fast, and some companies do not. But remember, we have what you call the probation period. And, normal, and the probation period here in Qatar for, for, for other workers in other sectors is what you call six months and only domestic workers have what you call probation period of nine months so it's going to depend on your company some companies will wait for you to take up to six months you first finish up your probation then they can issue you with your id or they can issue you with that id that is what some companies do there are some companies that will process it very fast that within the first month you'll already have your ID. So definitely what I have to let you know, it will depend. First of all, what is going to facilitate your ID, uh, your ID printing, very first one is your medical. Once you pass the medicals and you don't have any problem with it or you do not have any problem that may be, may, may lead to delay of that ID printing, that ID, then probably they will book for you an appointment and that appointment will be booked for you, then you go for fingerprints. After fingerprints, it normally takes like around one to two weeks, then your ID will be printed and you have the ID with you. That is the quickest way. But remember, uh, when we're talking about the delays to some companies or delays to some people taking the ID, you may find one company has very many people, uh, one company has a, a run, uh, 1,000 employees. So they need to take those employees in shifts, they need to book for them in shifts, such that uh, they do not have shortages in one way or the other. That is exactly that what happens. For example, when you look at insecurity companies, uh, look at cleaning companies, you may not find all employees go at once to do their medicals. They may be divided in two shifts to go for the medicals. So that will also take uh, will take the, the time longer for you to receive your ID. But I'm sure you knew by the end of six months, your company might, must have given you what you call a cut ID. If your medical are fit, you are fit, fit, can fit to do the job. And if you're already taken the fingerprints, then why not? They'll have to give you the ID and you definitely. You can also request for your ID in case you've taken the fingerprints and it is taking more than two weeks or it is taking more than three weeks. You can still ask the company, uh, request them to have the ID because uh, your ID, what you call the residence permit or your cut ID, is the one that is going to face facilitate any other transaction that you wish to make, especially if you want to send money, they will wish to have your cut ID. If you need to have your mobile man, uh, mobile uh, um, line to be registered fully, apart from to upgrade the systems or to have your ID a number integrated with the mobile system or the mobile network that you're on, you definitely need your ID. So it will definitely depend on those factors and at the end of it all, if you're successfully and verified, then it will also depend on the person in charge of the PRO or human resource and your ID will be there in time. Hope I've tried to answer the question, so I've tried to share up something. So if you ask for this question, definitely and you are coming for the first time you're coming to this country for the first time that is exactly what you're going to expect and that is exactly that you feel that is what you you're going to get so sometime but i'm sure i'm sure you it may not go six beyond six months after the probation you must have your idea with you.
thank you so much uh, for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for supporting this channel thank you so much for the returning subscribers and the new subscribers thank you so much by the way don't forget to click that notification bell because you'll always be updated wherever we upload any video thank you so much for coming back to see you again in the next video